I'm Sean McKenzie, and I'm a data analytics consultant with my own company that I've had for 20 years. In my work, I often wear hats of developer, data engineer, data analyst, and yes, data scientist. I got an economics degree in 1995. At the time, I wondered, like many new grads, what on earth could I do with my shiny new degree? How valuable was it anyway? It turns out, economics is awesome preparation for a tech career, because today's world is literally swimming in data. And I learned that there are two main ways that the economics degree will jumpstart your career. If you're interested in analytics or other areas of the tech sector. The first way it prepares you is to give you an understanding of competition, not in a superficial way, but you get a real understanding of competition, the understanding of opportunity cost, and the effects of things like, you guessed it, technology on businesses. You understand the big picture. Remember your econ classes where you did work on demand and supply curves? Remember how new technologies shifted the supply curve out by creating efficiencies? Well, working in tech is literally that. When you apply your mind on custom technical solutions using an economics lens, you're literally creating value where none existed before. You're more likely to consider opportunity costs and get to the right solution. This is great if you have a mind for people, workflows, and apps for data collection and analysis. The second way it prepares you is to give you a solid foundation for statistics and analytics. From your course materials that you would have studied in your econometrics classes. When I graduated in 1995, it wasn't so clear how one would apply these skills out of the gate. But today, these skills are immediately applicable. And with some more education and practice in coding, you can literally walk right out of your graduation and into a job in data analytics. With dedication and experience, you can take on the role of data scientist Data Scientist was ranked as the best job in the USA for three years in a row by Glassdoor. So you're probably wondering what you need to do to get into a great career in tech. In your courses, you probably did some coding in a statistical package or language like R. This is great preparation for getting out into analytics. But there are two steps that I would recommend to anyone considering taking the journey from economics to data analytics, and they would be learn Python and learn SQL. Learn Python and get really good at doing things like data wrangling, connecting to servers, integrating data sets and other techniques that will allow you to get the data you want when you want it. Language-wise, Python will give you the greatest job prospects. You can do a lot in other languages as well. For example, I use .NET languages quite a bit because I like the features in the ADO.NET feature set. But Python is rapidly becoming the lingua franca of the data analytics world. Study SQL and its usage, get a handle on data normalization and other database concepts so that you can work with database tables. So to sum it up, if you chose economics for your degree, you'll be well prepared for one really great career option when you're done, data analytics and data science. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated whenever I post new content. And thanks for watching.